This film is presented in its original uncut version. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Goddamn remotes do I have to this piece of shit? Fuck! on my work. Uh, Kyle, wasn't it? Yeah. Kyle. Drake. Drake, Drake. <laughs> and of course, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yes, work I at Arby's. That's a... So sorry to hear about your friend, Lucas. My condolences. Yeah. What can I do for you boys? So we've been paying like super close attention to your film course and we're really interested in making a documentary. Mm -hmm. And we've kind of found this little niche, this thing we've heard about, it's called the snake cult. You know, life is so precious. You young people don't understand that today. You're here one second, gone the next. <laughs> Got that little bastard. Have you boys ever heard the tale of Sam Gibson, the jazz saxophonist? Is that someone my parents used to listen to? Well, let me tell you. Oh, uh, those! Oh. 
Four, <laughs> four o'clock. Margaret! My fucking goddamn housewife needs to fucking do something. Made wife, fucking slut, whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. I don't need a ring to make somebody mine. God, I want to fucking. I want to punch one of these girls. I want to punch them in the fucking face while I'm goddamn getting a nut inside their dad's ass. <laughs> Four. Oh, I miss using my hands, not just for my dick. The saxophone, dude. She doesn't understand. She's so fucking non-caring. She doesn't even fucking think about fucking my future and what I could have done. Broadway. I had offers. If that cock-sucking baby wasn't crying and I didn't fucking look to the side and see the fucking... I fucking fell off the stage. Why? Dude, I can't even... I'm, I, I'm, I'm so mad I can't even fucking cry anymore. Yes, sir. Do you need something? My fucking goddamn needles don't even fucking... They still stink from my old blood. I know you're not fucking giving me clean ones. I, I, you fucking... The fucking beers don't even fucking taste good. You, they're warm as shit. My four loco, you fucking fuck it up every time getting the wrong goddamn taste. Every time I say fucking God, I want America, and you goddamn get great. What? Every fucking time. And another thing is, bitch, you know those turtles you talk about saving all the time in the ocean? Fuck them. I hope those goddamn fucking plastic things go around your fucking neck. I want you to die. I give you every paycheck I got. And all I do is sit here and look at this TV fucking tits, maybe? I got your tits in front of me and you don't even suck me, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes, sir. I, the oatmeal's almost done. I'm going as fast as I can. I'll be right back with it. God damn it stinks. Now feed me, bitch. Uh... Don't 
don't rub that shit in. Pick it up and clean it. You're good. Give me another bite. You barely taste this. You should know that by now. That's three bites in. just what we were looking for. Something new. Something fresh. No, it's not like the snakes. We gotta talk about the snakes. Come on, Professor. Good candy corn. Oh, <laughs> uh. Perhaps you boys want something a little more interesting. Have you heard of the burlap murders? Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that like, on the news. What was it, like eight people? One of them was a classmate. I really think we should stick with the snake. I just like that territory seems well tread. There's been like three documentaries on the burlap. Snake is the way to go. We have a lot of research in it already. So. Snake all the way. It's ridiculous. You know the burlap causes many psychological problems as well. Like one of your classmates, Susanna. Susanna? Um... Well, let me tell you, Susanna was a student here at Bluffs Creek also. Let's just say she had a problem with sleeping. Again, what the fuck? I'm gonna be late to my therapist appointment. What did, what did Dr. Allen say? Gareth T. Harper? Who's Gareth T. Harper? Gareth T. Harper, serving 180 years life sentence.
Susanna, how are you doing? Don't mind the office decorations. We've got a uh, little party coming up. <laughs> um, the scissors. Yeah? Just cutting out little uh, designs for the wall and whatnot? I thought I told you about my fear. Oh. Scissors. Right. How foolish of me. I'm sorry. What are you here for today? I can't sleep. And I just I just need a medication to help me go to sleep. I, I keep having these recurring dreams. All right, let me, let me stop you right there, Susanna. Uh, that is one of the first problems is we don't want to add any more medications because if these problems keep occurring and they just keep getting worse, adding more medication is not the key. So. We're gonna have to try another strategy with the cards. I see that you left one in the box last week. I need to leave. Susanna, where are you going? Where you just you just got here. We need to finish your session. Oh well, back to the decorating. Why are you here? I know what you saw. I'm not here to judge. following me. <laughs> How did you get rid of it? No! 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 Sorry! No! 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 He's coming for you! He's coming for you! I get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> Wheelchairs? Insomnia? Scary things, I'm sure. I want to hear about that goddamn snake. What's going on? The snake. Snake. Please. Boys, boys, please. You really don't want to know what I know about the snake people. Yes, we do! We, like, we really do. <laughs> I work at fucking Arby's. I need a break. We need this. Perhaps we, uh, perhaps let's take a break. Maybe get a refreshment.
Some milk? I'm good. Milk? No. Reminds me of a story. Ugh, you sick fuck. Have you perhaps you guys heard of the milkman? One more story to spin. This is getting out of line. Tonight is the night. The sweet white silk. I need you now more than ever. Please. Bring your gift upon me. Old Halloween night. I need you. I need you in the sweetest of silk. Please come back to me for. Just a little more. Just a little more.
some really good ideas. We could use some of this shit. Come on, I mean, this, is, this shit's working. Yeah, but I want to hear about the snakes. Snakes. I mean, man, we're focusing on, like, truth and fact. And all he's giving us is a line of bullshit. I mean, you guys really believe in snake people? Really? They know. Yeah, I know what needs to be done. There he is. I've been looking all over for you. Boys, I'm glad to see you. I apologize about my anger earlier. It's Halloween. Please have a seat. We should be festive and celebrate. I'm really proud of you boys yeah. starting your own film company. Yeah, full swing. Full swing films. Full swing films. I've seen your work. F. I just think you should stay clear of the snake clan. No, that's actually what we want to talk about is snake clan. We want the slithery scales. Slimy well, feet. You know, Halloween is more about monsters and terrible things. It's about regular people. Let me tell you about Frank and Stephanie and their troubled marriage. Is this any monster at all? <sighs> We're all monsters, Drake. Every goddamn one of us. Yeah, thanks for getting back to me. I have been trying to reach you. So, I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. What do you mean am I sure it's his? Dude, don't be condescending. Of course it's his. No, that timeline doesn't really add up. Um, he couldn't, I don't know, I think he was here in December. Oh, yeah, 4th of July. No, you're right. But, like, what's a sophomore going to do with a kid? I mean, honestly. Frank's got, like, a really good house. He's got, like, a job. His car is okay. Like, it runs. So, I mean, he's kind of an asshole, sure, but, like... Dude, he's not, like, everybody's an asshole. Like, everybody's an asshole. So I don't really know why you're, like, giving him so much grief when, you know, like, there are people starving. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, here comes the man. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello? Hi, not a lot. How are you? All right. How Thank you doing? so much for coming out. family has always been so significant to me and 
I'm trying to be super serious in this moment because you benefit from it. You know what I mean? Like, you get the family you always wanted by having me, right? And like, we've been doing super well and our conversations have been like pretty good, I would say. But like, I mean- What the fuck up? What the fuck was that? What do you mean what the fuck was that? Pay attention to what I'm saying. Jesus fucking Christ. Where are you going? Get back here. So, we still have to talk. <laughs> talk about what? The fact that that thing just shot a load in my fucking face? There are other things to focus on right I, now. Sorry, I can't focus on anything else. You and your fucking pity parade. You know, have you ever listened to anyone in your life? Or do you just show up for the party? <laughs> no, I have to listen to you. Constantly. Complaining. About every fucking thing. Do you ever think that, like, maybe my quote-unquote complaining is me trying to get something across to you that might be important to me? And did you ever think that maybe you're a little fucking ham-handed at it? So, you know, I kind of lean away from that thing that you're you know, trying to correct me over? Having an authentic relationship with somebody comes from actually having a conversation with somebody. Oh, you do more than enough talking for the both of us. Frank, Frank I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. What? What? Just like not gonna talk about this? What? Sorry. Seriously, Stephanie. Not right now. You better go take a shower. Wash whatever. You got all over you. Yeah. Real nice. What a peach.
about you. You know I fucking hate it down here. What are you doing down here? Frank. But I told you not to come down here. You are not allowed to be down here while I'm working. See this shit? You think I did this for me? No, I did this for you! See a place to fucking live! See food on the fucking table! And you come to me and you start talking about starting a family, starting a family, 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 that's all you fucking care about. Well, guess what? I don't want to feed that fucking kid. I don't want to put food in its mouth because it's yours and it's not mine. Luckily, once again, Frank finds a solution. Because that's what I do. I clean up the fucking problem. So we're not going to have your fucking kid. Oh, I found a workaround. We're gonna have my kid. There's something growing inside me. 
It's in my fucking dreams. It's in my head. It won't stop talking. And guess what? I wasn't listening. But I am now. And it's telling me that you are a necessary part of this family, Stephanie. And it pisses me the fuck off. But I, I'm gonna have to do what I have to do. But that's the thing, Stephanie, if you're not willing to work with me on this one, well then I guess I'm just gonna have to bash your fucking skull in until you agree with me! Enjoy that tale? Well, that shocked me. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty far out, but I don't know. Speaking of far out, you boys don't take drugs, do you? Uh, n uh, yeah, Professor. No. Uh, no. No. You know, your, no. your classmate no. Lucas took a lot of drugs. Yeah, he still owes me. I'm, um, 
I mean, uh, it owes you what? N- nothing. You know, the mind is full of many, many terrors. I think I have everything. I've got my phone. I've got my charger. I have a backup charger. Just in case. Ah! You should probably move that. Yeah. All right. It's going to be great. Nothing crazy. Nothing wild. Dude, come on. What am I going to do? I'm going to sit here. I'm watching Sea Wolves. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a great time. Okay. No crazy. No crazy. No. No strippers? No. No hookers? No. None of it? Okay. No drugs? No. Okay, cool. So, yeah. All right, so I will be back probably uh, just about three days, so I'm just going to be gone for the weekend. Okay. Um, I'll call you when I get there. It shouldn't take me any longer than like eight or nine hours. Awesome. But, uh, okay, just please be safe. You too. All right. Well, I love you. Oh, I fucking love you too, dude. Okay. Bye, 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 The dogs will play. You know what I mean? Fucking sucks.
the day. The fucking phones do. You motherfucker, I'm never buying drugs from you again! Oh, shit! It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Okay. Good.
I got I got halfway there and fucking Richie calls me, he tells me he breaks his fucking arm. And oh they're canceling the whole fucking thing. Baby. Knock, huh? You boys like that one? For the love of God. Snake. Plan. Not only do I have a grandmother waiting for me at home, I have to open at the fucking Arby's tomorrow, 6 a.m. Tell me! I have leftovers that need to get eaten, too. Hurry it up. Yeah, it's getting real late. My old man's gonna chew my ass out. Okay, boys, I will tell you everything I know about the Snake Clan after this one more tale. <sighs> this tale will really suck you in. It all happened after a beach party. Hey, uh, how's it going, sweetie? Jeremy invited me over. He said this is gonna be the after party. Yeah, sure. Come on in, sweetie. I really need to take a bath or a shower. I, I, wow. It's just been a long night and no, I feel you. Yeah, you go, go go ahead and take a shower, girl. Like I, I ain't doing shit. So. Uh... Oh,
What do you think of that one, guys? That was as dry as your sense of humor. God. Snake. Clan. Believes. We're still gonna make the Snake Clan movie. Kyle, I was afraid you were gonna say that. I will tell you what I know about the Snake Clan. Oh!